Will, very experienced. He jumped this horse down in Lisbon out of the Super League early on in the season. Jumped very well down there to help Britain finish second in the uh, Nations Cup League as opposed to the Maidan League. And uh, that really showed what he was capable of. But this, the most crucial round that this combination have jumped in their career. Nine-year-old Billy Congo by Vector. Just the one-time fold in round one. Could we do the same again? Will sticking to his plan. He's not turned inside to the second fence, which I think is very sensible. always had a lot of belief in this horse and he's stepping up to the plate going to this next level homebred horse out of a homebred mare so if he can just hold it together if he gets a time fault the same as Peter Charles had the one time fault, it's not going to be too crucial. The main thing is to jump a clear round. Coming up to this big stretch up the hill. It showed a lot of scope there. Just the last. He's jumped in, he's got a time fault again. Let's not worry about that. Let's celebrate an exciting prospect on the British scene for the future. The Billy Stud producing some super horses, and if they can produce more like this one, then look out at the world. That was fabulous, Andy. So good. I'm so pleased to see this horse has always had the promise. Will's always believed in him. And what you're seeing here, look at the scope and power he's finding. That is a big stretch up the hill. He's way over it. And he's only a little horse, and he's not the longest horse, but he has the ability, when Will says, go on, boy, stretch, give it to me, he gives it to him. It's just so exciting for the future. Well, let's just put that in as we see uh, Billy Congo and Will jump the last into context. Two home, two with a time fault, two to go. And uh, we still have got uh, the Spanish will finish uh, no worse than having four faults uh, in the second round. They'll finish on a score of four.